Hey guys, well, I wanted to see if you, any of you can help, even if it being a long shot. Um, to start off, I've been trying to get this unit working in this truck. Um, this is actually a factory navigation unit out of a 2002 Lincoln Blackwood. Uh, my truck is a 2003 F-150. Uh, before I even, uh, even got this unit, I had access to all the wiring diagrams, so on and so forth. So I figured it wouldn't be too bad since what I eventually learned that the radio and the navigation system have no affiliation with each other. In fact, these units weren't installed until after the trucks were already built, completed off the line. So, having the only, there are only a few wires that you need, power, and a few others. But, to start off, I've already wired up all the wires to it. And so far, it's almost working. In fact, the only thing that isn't working is the screen itself, as far as, you know, clicking the on-off button right there it doesn't turn it on. What I have been able to do, um, just to turn the key on, if you turn it on, the system itself wakes up as it should. There's a separate wire for that for the key on uh, power to get on. So, this gets power, which is the disk reader does all the data for it. I've got the antenna hooked up to it, goes to the back of this, and have it under the dash or there, or the surfboard as they call it. Um, Accept the disc just fine. Um, one thing I actually learned today is if you put a disc, that's not part of it, it's just a Super Mario Galaxy soundtrack, you put this in, or any other disc, except it's just fine. It'll scan it, as you can hear, it doesn't recognize it, and then it'll just spit it out. So, taking that as a good sign that I think the screen itself, the disc reader m might be good. Uh, on a side note, I've done a few tests. I thought the screen was bad. It was my first thought. Ordered a new one. That didn't do anything. Um, in fact, I was able to later test it out that the backlight for this one and the old screen do work, in, in fact. Uh, then I thought it was this unit itself, because there is a certain board in here for the buttons, the knob, the speaker, and sending all the data to this. Got a new one of those. That didn't do it either. So, I think all of this is still good. Or at least maybe I got really like with two bad units. I doubt because when I got online, said it was working when they pulled it. Besides the point. So even with the dimmer, turn that on. All lights there, down there. You can even see repeat, map, detour, volume, on off, and the knob itself. All those get the power and. So all the powers to this, that, I think the harness itself comes from the truck to this, and then the two plugs come out here to the back of this unit. Um, I'm not really sure where to go from here. I've had a few things to it where I thought maybe there may be a damaged harness, uh, where it's not sending video to this. I think may, there may even be an issue with this, where while hardware-wise, hardware -wise, you know, except this turns on, you know, it can identify at least what I think that it's a bad disc or at least a disc not affiliated with the navigation um, so this might be bad on that point so either it's this the harness and one thing where I don't know this is just kind of me taking a random guess at this if you actually look at the backup sensors this was just part of it my truck does not did not come with them and I don't think you could get a super cab with them or at least if it was, it was pretty rare. If you notice that there's no backlight to it. But they all have the same common power wire. I mean, even if I pull this up, you'll see it hooked under there. Uh, what I was able to find out with a multimeter and use a continuity tester, that the power and the ground are on the same wire for some odd reason. So, there is a reverse wire you have to hook up. Part of the Mahino harness, because there are seven wires. You have your ground, you have three different power wires concerning the key on the headlights to dim the screen uh, light and day as a normal navigation system would. Um, your hot wire to basically power the whole system. You have your VSS, which is your vehicle speed sensor. Your reverse wire, as I was telling you earlier. And then, oh, the last wire was the PWM dimming, which is pulse with modulation. Those are the only wires for it. Um, nothing to the radio. You know, another... Um, trigger or something as far as I know so maybe there's something with this since there is a reverse wire you have to hook up to it who knows 
um, because I, what I've got is for the Blackwoods, and this was a Blackwood unit, so maybe every single Blackwood came with Parka sensors. I don't know. I know every single Blackwood did not come with navigation, and the units were actually pretty rare in general, since the Blackwoods themselves were one-year production, low production, and, for example, 2002 Navigators, only 7% of them were built with this. So I don't know if any of them can help. Anyone who could you can direct me to, or anyone you can think of from the top of your head, that can help me with this, but, um, I'm quickly running out of options with this thing, and yes, before any of you say, I know it's an old system, it's 15 years old, it's not gonna have a lot of other maps, and it's gonna be very, very obsolete. I realized that before I even got this unit, but I like the idea of just having a factory navigation unit working in the system, that, for a vehicle that never even had in the first place. I mean, tech. Yeah, it says navigator on this, but this ain't a navigator. I pulled, this cluster was pulled from a navigator. I put my board on the back of it and, well, works as it should. Because I like the better look of these with the white needles. Other than that, um, I've been working on this for a good bit. I've talked to several people, uh, concerning even one member on a lightning rodder or lightning garage or something like that, who had basically wanted to do the same thing I did. But he just got another car and lost interest in it. He still has a lot of parts, so he's going to see if any the parts he has actually work, so if he can help me out with that. Um, I've gone to a few people, even a Lincoln dealer, which I know it was a long shot by all means. They didn't even know what this unit was. Uh, went to a few on, on audio shop, maybe I'll try a few others, but I've been, I've gone through several tests, you know, wondering what it is. Uh, to, do, I've researched online. There's very little with these units, so there's not much for me to look at at all. But I'm really getting to the end here where I'm going to get to the point where I hopefully won't, I won't go exhaust all these options and still be in the same situation I'm at. Because then I just wasted all this time and, you know, still don't have an answer for it. So if, uh, once again, if any of you all know, as far as anyone who could help me out with this, or even yourself could help me out with this, I'd really appreciate any help or direction I could get with this unit. But regardless, just any message at all. I appreciate it, guys. See ya.